What's going on, Salt Strong Nation? Justin back here at the Real Room. I'm gonna talk about a new reel that Dio came out with here at iCast 2022. This is their Procyon MQ. It's actually the most affordable MQ in their lineup. And it looks really sharp, silver metallic body, a little bit of blue accents, but everyone's gonna wanna know what goes into this particular MQ, and is this something that I should fish uh, as an inshore fisherman? So to start, as mentioned, it is the most affordable MQ lineup that Daiwa offers. And if this is your first time hearing that MQ terminology, what it is, is it's their monocoque body. So it's this threaded side plate that they have here on their reels. And it does a lot of different things. Number one, you can, you can reduce the overall footprint of the reel, keep the body of the reel really small. And instead of having a side plate held in place by two pieces and screws, this is your main part holding the side place together. It's just a one piece body and this threaded side plate and keeping things compact is gonna, number one, reduce weight. And number two, this whole side right here, that's basically the size of the main gear in that reel. So it is bigger than other 2,500 or 3,000 or 4,000 size reels main gears comparatively. So if you were to tit for tat it and pull this main gear out and compare it to another brand's main gear, it's 20 to 30% larger. What that's gonna mean is when you're winding down under a load, there's not gonna need to be as much force applied to be able to bring a fish into you. So when you're hooked up, it's gonna kind of feel like you're winching in a fish a lot easier. So just a cool thing that Daiwa has incorporated, just over the past couple years, they've made these MQ body reels, and now they're starting to incorporate them in a lot of different price points in their reels. This reel comes in at about $179. So really good price point underneath $200. You've got the BGMQ, Ballistic, and Saltist MQ that we'll talk about kind of as a comparison here in a little bit. But if you're really looking at something under $200, I think this is a good starting point if you want to get yourself an MQ reel. Another really big factor about the Procyon MQ is that it's made from Daiwa's Zion V material. So if you're familiar with Zion, it's the really lightweight, high-density carbon composite. Bunch of fancy words for it's a super lightweight and very durable reel. As inshore guys, a lot of people prefer to fish with lighter bodied reels that are still durable, that don't have any flex here at the uh, handle arm shaft. And in the Zion V material, they're able to manufacture this really lightweight and dense material and start incorporating it into different series of reels. So at about 180 bucks, you've got a 2,500 size reel that's got an MQ frame it's only 6.9 ounces. That's really, really light, considering most reels are in that mm, high sevens, low eights a lot of times. So if you're trying to reduce weight where you can, this would be a good option. So just as an overview, let's take a look at the back of the box and see what features are offered here on the Procyon MQ. So obviously MQ body. LT is that moniker for light and tough by Daiwa. Essentially, they're trying to reduce the overall footprint of a reel, but keep it just really compact and sturdy, okay? Um, the air bale design. So it's a unique design by Daiwa. It's a hollow air bale. Um, it's going to reduce the weight overall in the reel. And in the rotor itself, when you're turning the handle, this rotor and this bale is really acting as a counterbalance. When you lighten all of that up and compact in your rotor, it's gonna just make for a very smooth feeling reel when you turn the handle. I think it's one of those things that are often overlooked by anglers. Um, some guys that are fishing really big lures, really big live baits, they want a more robust rotor and they want a, th a thick wire bale. But if you're an artificial lure angler, I really like the air bale design. It's just, it's very smooth in the hand. It's not gonna get in the way at all and you're really not gonna notice it. It's just gonna help for a very smooth drive train. Okay, as we mentioned, super lightweight in the 2,500 size, 6.9 ounces. And just like with most reels on the market, even a 2,500 size reel, 22 pounds of drag. Again, that's really more than you're ever gonna need. Try, try loading up 10 pounds of, of drag on a reel. You're gonna think that's insane. So it's nice to have more. It's better to have it than not need it, is, is what I always say. Um, and one really cool thing about the Procyon MQ in particular, is you see this XH moniker right here? That stands for their higher speed. So Daiwa and most other spinning reels, there's different gear ratios, right? A 5.2 to one, a 6.2 to one. Some very few companies have the 7.1 to one. That's just crazy fast. But 6.2 tends to be that sweet spot and that higher gear speed than what most anglers are looking for. 
And in various MQ reels, the BGMQ, the Ballistic MQ, the Saltist MQ, as you work up the tier, there's only certain sizes that have that XH moniker. But in the ProSan MQ, three out of the four sizes are all XH. So you've got a 1,000 size. If you're going to be fishing, let's say, Ned rigs, really small, two, two and a half inch plastics, fishing open water settings, and you just want the lightest weight reel possible, that's a great option. But once you jump into the 2,500 size, which is what I have here, and we have a three and a 4,000 as well, they're all the XH moniker. So they're all going to have that 6.2 to 1 gear ratio. And even the 4,000 here, it's just cool to note, it's a CXH. So what that means is the body of this 4,000 is the body of a 3,000, but it's going to have a slightly bigger rotor and a slightly deeper spool so that you have more line capacity, okay? But essentially, the body is still very, very small, um, and it's super light. So that's only 8.1 ounces for a 4,000 size reel. It's not very common you're going to find a reel of that size in that line class. So that's really cool. All right, so in front of me, I have a bouquet of reels, if you will. These are all the other MQ reels in about that $200 to $300 price point. The very popular BG MQ, the Ballistic MQ, which I think is the closest comparison, and the Saltist MQ. And they range, again, about $200, $230, $300. And then you've got this Procyon MQ for about $180. And I kind of want to talk about, really, let's, let's tip for tat some of the features, okay? To start... Let's talk about it compared to some of the heavy hitters, all right? And I say that because these two MQs, the BG MQ and the Saltist MQ, are, are full aluminum bodied reels. So starting off, they're gonna be a little bit heavier than these Zion V counterparts, but they're really robust. So they're great artificial reels. I own both of these. I caught a ton of fish on them. I tend to prefer uh, solid aluminum bodied reels for the style of fishing I do. They've been great workhorses for me. You do have mag seal technology when you jump up into the ballistic and the saltist MQ and a couple improved bearings, Zion rotor, air bale. There's some bells and whistles as you jump up the tier, but the BG MQ and the saltist MQ, they're aluminum solid wire bale. They're going to feel a little bit heavier at about that eight to eight and a half ounce mark uh, in the 2,500 and 3,000 size reels. Now let's take a look at the ballistic MQ because I think that's what people, as you start looking at all the features between these two reels, they're going to be the most similar to one another. The ballistic MQ 2,500 is also an XH moniker. So it's that higher gear speed ratio. Okay. So it's going to be a 6.2 to one ratio. It's going to have the same body material and same rotor as the Procyon MQ. So they're both going to be 6.9 ounces. The real differences here are the Ballistic MQ is going to have MagSeal technology. So quick overview, MagSeal technology is Daiwa's means to protect their anti-reverse clutch bearing inside the body of that reel. Really got to show, I got to find another video to show you guys, but the anti-reverse clutch, what you want to do is you want to protect this bearing that helps make sure you, your handle doesn't go backwards. It's something we take for granted as anglers. On reels in today's day and age, we're at the end of 2022 making this video. Companies are starting to eliminate this anti-reverse switch feature on a reel. You know those little tabs where you go left and right and you can turn the handle forward and backwards? As inshore saltwater anglers, which is really what these reels are geared towards, you don't need it. You don't need to back play a fish. You want to know that you have this anti-reverse, this stopping mechanism inside the reel. So when you set the hook, the handle's not going to come backwards, okay? Protecting that instant anti-reverse, that, that bearing inside the reel is very important. A lot of companies seal that area differently. They do so with physical seals, with hydrophobic coatings to get water to blow out of there when you turn the handle if water makes contact with it. Daiwa does it a little differently. They use a ferrous fluid, a magnetized fluid, works with a, with a magnetized plate, and it creates this watertight and airtight seal around that location. You start getting that when you jump up into the Ballistic MQ and the Saltist MQ and some of the higher tier or higher echelon reels. Um, in the ProSan MQ, you do not have that. It's just going to be a physical um, ring that's going to be protecting that antiverse plate over top. Um, and that's why some people start jumping into this caliber and a little bit higher is if you're going to be exposed to the elements, if you're a wade fisherman, for example, or you're going to take a lot of splash and spray and you're not as careful of washing down your reels, 
you might notice a, a little better longevity out of a ballistic MQ compared to a Procyon MQ. But by and large, they're both physically sealed about the same way. You just have mag seal with the ballistic MQ. And the only other difference after that is there's two extra bearings in the ballistic MQ that is kind of Daiwa's higher end bearings. They call them CRBB or corrosion resistant ball bearings. They're allegedly, I think, eight or 10 times more corrosion resistant than a standard shielded stainless ball bearing. But again, I think it's nice. They, they add them here in the, the spool itself of the reel so that when the drag is engaged, you have a slightly smoother drag because the spool's resting on more bearings than just on one bearing, which is on what most reels offer. So there's some fluidity there. It's, it's a little more corrosion resistant. I think it's a minor feature, but what separates these two is about, do the math, like a $50 retail difference. And I think that's really what you're paying for. You're paying for the mag seal technology. You're paying for improved bearings in key locations. And to be candid, I think color scheme. Uh, nobody can tell me otherwise. I think color is important to fishermen. And uh, you can argue me all day on that. But when picking different reels, there's so many flavors and options out there. Some people want a black and red. It's a staple classic looking color. Some people prefer that more metallic silver and kind of blue accent reel. I think the choice is yours. And just to remain transparent, although the Procyon MQ is a great reel, if we're going to try to talk about what the cons or areas of improvement or things to consider with this reel, um, there's really two things. They're relatively small. One is the Procyon MQ doesn't include some of these physical seals that you find here at the handle entry point. So these are small. These are low pressure seals that you would find when you jump up into a ballistic MQ. It's, a it's those little things that anytime you can mitigate water entry and you start seeing these kind of luxury, I wouldn't even call it luxury, but these little details that Daiwa starts incorporating in their higher end reels, um, you don't necessarily have it on this Procyon MQ. That's kind of why I call it like a ballistic light, if you will, because it's very, very similar, but missing a couple features like that little seal there. And uh, finally is the price point. So if you do your research, and you look at the price points of reels on the market. A lot of companies try to hit price points, right? $100, $150, $180, $200, $250, $300. $200. This is in a unique price point range. It's not bad or good, but generally anglers are looking to spend about $100, and you can't convince them otherwise, like a Daiwa Fuego or a Shimano Nasky or a Pen Battle in that $100 price point. Um, or they jump up to $200, which bang for buck, you really get a lot at that $200 mark. The BGMQ, the Stratic, the Spin Fisher. I mean, all of those are very well-sealed, well-refined reels. Put it to you simply, if you don't want your wife knowing that you spent $200 or more on a spinning reel and you want something pretty nice, this would be the way to go. So guys, that about covers it. This is the new Daiwa Procyon MQ. We've got all four sizes as we showed you, the 1,000, 2,500, 3,000, and 4,000. Three of those are gonna have that high-speed gear ratio. Bang for buck, it's a pretty fair option for an inshore saltwater angler. Very lightweight, moderately sealed, and this cosmetic, silver with a little bit of blue accent, more modern, it's gonna blend well with a lot of rods that are on the market today too, if that's something you're looking for. So guys, if you have any questions about this overview, this reel in particular, any of these other reels mentioned in the video, or if you guys wanna learn more about anything inshore saltwater fishing related, come on over and join us over at saltstrong.com. Join our insider club. We have a ton of information to help you guys find and catch more fish and come get yourself one of these reels if you're interested. We have them over at fishstrong.com. Thank you so much, guys. And I'll see you on the water. If you're new to Salt Strong, just know we're the number one online fishing club out there because we guarantee you're gonna catch a bunch more fish not only with tips and in-depth courses, but also our new Smart Fishing Spots app. It's gonna tell you exactly where the feeding fish are and when you should fish there. You're gonna save a ton of money on your tackle and you're gonna make a bunch of awesome new fishing friends. So thanks so much for watching and we hope to see you in the insider community soon.